Hi, I'm Pat McGrew, and welcome to another episode of Print Sample TV. And this time we're going to talk about print enhancement and some of the technology around print enhancements. Very specifically, we're going to be looking at a print sample created by the team at Scodix. Now, Scodix is a, a company with a long history in print, of print enhancement, and they do print enhancement in a number of different ways. What I loved is in the envelope that came with the sample we're going to be talking about is a postcard that says, we thought you might want to know all the different types of substrates that you can use the Scodix with. And to be fair, it's not all of them. It's quite a few of them. And to be fair also to Scodix, this is just one sample among thousands of Scodix print samples that you might see out at a trade show or at an open house. What I particularly liked about this is they, they bound it together. This is a substrate catalog, and I like to think of it as a a wish book or a book of, of dreams of things that I could do if I was doing some design. Now this is the kind of thing that you'd want to get into the hands of your design team. And in fact, if you have Scodix equipment, you would want to ask Scodix if you could get more copies and give them to your clients as well, because they could learn a lot from what's here about the kinds of capabilities of the Scodix machine. So they start, as they do with a lot of Scodix samples, with information about Scodix. And I think that's critical. I think that any kind of print sample like this should give a bit of a history of the company. But then they go into the really interesting things that people can do with Scodix, and they tell you all about the substrates that they're printing on. And this is especially important in an era where there are so many different types of substrates, coded and uncoded, all sorts of different weights, all sorts of different types. It would be very easy for someone to spec out the most magnificent print job and then you not be able to put it through your print enhancement device. So in the case of Scodix, they're going to tell you everything and they have got one of the broader sets of, of substrates out there that they can work with. This one is more very bookmark looking and it's, it's enhanced with both their foil and with their same color uh, texture uh, material. And if you look, you can see that um, it comes, they, they're happy on multiple colors. They do a very nice job of showing close in, tight in textures. They do a great job of showing uh, different weights and different styles. So when it comes to looking at a technology like Scodex, you absolutely want to be looking for the maximum number of substrates that you can work with. And you want to be asking a lot of questions about what post processes this type of printing can go through, this type of print enhancement can go through. You'll find with Scodix that uh, it works with direct mail, I've seen many things that are uh, tightly folded, uh, perfed, uh, scored. So look for that in your technology. But when it comes to print samples, um, this one does a really great job of doing exactly what Scodix wants to do, and that is promote the substrates that they work on. Uh, I'm Pat McGrew. This is Print Sample TV. We hope you'll come back for another episode. <music>